What up? Uh, first thing we're going to learn in your geometry is uh, slopes, the slope formula. Okay. What you have is you'll have a graph. Okay, it usually has two lines. If not, you got to draw them. All right. Now, the line going across, which is horizontal, is always called your x axis. Up and down is your y axis. Why? I don't know. It just is. Okay, so you got your x axis and your y axis. Okay? Now, slope. I'll write it down. Slope. What the slope is, it tells us how far or fast that line is falling. Alright, how far it's going up or down. Either way. Alright. Now, here's an example. This right here, this line is falling from left to right. Just like you read a book. It's going left to right and it's falling. That is called a negative slope. Okay? Alright, this line right here is going up from left to right. That is a positive slope. Now check out this line. Is that line going up or down? No. So it's not falling, it's not falling or rising. Okay? Therefore it's just zero. Now this line is going straight up and down. Okay? That means it's like falling off a cliff. Well hopefully you don't fall off cliffs, but that's what it's like. Okay? Going up and straight up and down. It has no slant to it. Therefore, it is called undefined. Okay? Undefined. Go straight up and down. Straight across is zero. Slope is zero. That means you got a straight line across, horizontal. Okay? Going up from left to right is positive slope and going down is negative. Boom shakalaka. Now, how you find slope. Okay, say we got our x and our y axis. Okay. Say our first number is 2, 3, and that'll be point A. We always start at our origin, the middle, okay? 2, 3 means we go to the right 2, and we go up 3. Right there. Okay? That's our point A. And whenever you label it on your graph, always write A, 2, 3. That way, whenever you look back on your graph, it's so much easier to work the problems, okay? Now, let's say point B is at negative 4, negative 1, okay? We would go back 4, because we always start at our origin, and the first number is our x, okay? Second one's our y. We go back 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. We go down one. Okay? The opposite of going up would be down. So the opposite of positive is negative. So we go down. Alright, so that's B and it's at negative four, negative one. Now, these two points will make a line. Okay? If you wanted to do the slope and you have a graph already, like if they have it on a graph and they're like, find the slope of this. Okay, all you got to do is count rise over run. Rise over run. Rise is just what it sounds like. That's how far it goes up or down. So we start at our point and we go up or down to get to the next point. We are obviously going to go up. So we count straight up. One, two, three, four. Our rise is four divided by our run. Our run, when you run, you run across the ground. Okay, so your run is across. So we count the run. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay? Now, we didn't have to go to the left or down at all, so we know those are positive numbers. Or we could just count that and then at the end look at our line. What is our line from what we talked about earlier? It's going up from left to right. Therefore, it is positive. Okay? So we know it's going to be a positive number. All right? Now, what you always do with your slope is you reduce it. Okay? So if you all remember how to reduce a fraction, first thing you know is going to go into this is 2 because they're both even numbers. 2 goes into 4 2 times. And 2 goes into 6 3 times. So our slope of that line is 2 over 3. Okay? All right, let's say we got point C is at negative 4, 2, and D is at 6, negative 3. Okay? Say we want to find the slope of those two, of, that, of a line that crosses through those two points. We want to find the slope of a line that crosses through those two points. Okay, we don't have a graph to just look at it and count rise over run. So what we got to do is use the slope formula. Okay, here is the slope formula. Okay, your y's go on top and your x's go on bottom. All right, does everybody understand that? I hope so. You can't respond to me because this is a recording. And m, m always represents our slope. So. So that is our slope, okay? That always represents our slope. Lovely. Okay? So all we do is we label our stuff because it's easy to get confused with these numbers in the front and the back. Uh, don't get scared, okay? We just label it. We pick our 1 and our 2. I would say C is our 1 because it's on top, all right? And D is our 2, okay? X is always our first number, Y is always our second number. So we just do X, 1, Y, 1, X, 2, Y, 2. Alright? After we've done that, we've done the hard part. All we got to do is plug it in. Start with our Y, 2. Find your Y, 2. It's negative 3. So we put in negative 3. Next, we put in the minus sign. Don't forget about the minus sign our y1, which is 2, all right, over x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is negative 4, okay? The first thing that shouts out to us whenever we got this problem, okay, we're going to work this problem out and simplify it, but the first thing we notice is two negatives. When you got a negative and a negative, Bumping up against each other, when it's minus a negative, turns into a positive, okay? Minus a negative turns into a positive. All right, that's a plus sign, okay? So we would change this to a plus sign. Now we just work it. Negative 3 minus 2. We're going to go further into the negative zone, all right? Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 over 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, we've got it. We've got our slope. But we always want to reduce it. Okay, what goes into 5 and 10? 5 does. Okay, obviously you know 5, 10, 15, 20. We know 5 does. How many times does 5 go into 5? Once. How many times does 5 go into 10? Twice. Don't forget about our negative. Now, that negative doesn't just apply to the top number, okay? It applies to the whole problem, okay? So don't label, oh, the, the 5 is negative, so the 10 is positive. No. The whole problem is a negative, which means our line is going to be falling down, okay? It's going to be negative slope, and that is our slope of those two points, okay? Now, you're going to have a problem flash up on the screen, an example problem, okay? Pause it, write down the problem, and work it, okay? Once you've worked it completely out, hit play, and you can check it and make sure you did it correct, all right? So, 
Once you see the problem come up, hit pause. All right, hopefully that wasn't too much trouble for you. Hopefully you worked it out, okay? Let's see if you did. Okay, first thing we do is we label our points, okay? This will be our one, this will be our two. We got our x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these you label one and two, doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer, okay? What matters is that you keep the same x and y as your one and the same x and y as your two. Doesn't matter. If you did it the other way around, made that your one and that your two, it's okay. You should get the exact same answer. Let's see. Y2 is negative 14 minus 6, which is our Y1. X2 is our 8 minus our negative 2. When you minus a negative, it's a positive. It's my phone. I'm not going to answer it. Negative 14 minus 6 is negative 20 over 8 plus 2, which is 10. What goes into both of those? 10. 10 goes into 20 two times. 10 goes into 10 once. Don't forget about our negative. That would be our slope. But what is anything divided by 1? It's itself. So it's negative 2. So our slope is negative 2. Good job. Hopefully from this you can go on and fulfill all your dreams.